Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to work on my art journal and uh, create a lovely page. Uh, first, I'm going to gesso my page because it's a little bit uh, painted from uh, other projects. I'm using a Faber-Castell uh, gesso because I want to finish this. I have it for ages. Uh, so it doesn't matter, any gesso will do. Uh, I will use uh, acrylic paints and also uh, I want to cover this uh, previous uh, stains from the other page. After uh, my page is dry, uh, I'm reaching out for my shiny paints. These are silk um, acrylic glaze. They are acrylic paints but with shine. And uh, the other is uh, Prima uh, Art Alchemy uh, acrylic paints, again uh, shimmering. Um, before that, uh, I'm going to take a piece of uh, parchment paper, tissue paper, uh, whichever you have, and uh, create a little bit texture on my page. Uh, I'm just uh, sticking this with matte medium. Uh, I will. I want it to be like wrinkly, so I'm just randomly sticking it. Uh, to create some texture at the background. I love texture uh, on my uh, art journals, so uh, I chose uh, this method this time, but there are many things. You could use paste, uh, you could uh, stick other things if you like. Uh, there are many ways to create texture. And now I'm going to uh, go for my paints. Uh, I will show the name of the color uh, on screen while I'm uh, using them and this is vintage mint I think. These are quite uh, transparent uh, paints that's why they are called uh, acrylic glaze. Uh, it's, it doesn't have full coverage uh, so uh, and they are metallic that's uh, their feature um, and uh, I have this uh, I, other acrylic paint which is uh, metallic from Prima and uh, although they are a little bit transparent as well uh, they have a, a more dense coverage they are uh, they cover more I will just mix uh, three colors uh, in the same color family I'm uh, trying to create a turquoise gold look uh, so I took uh, a few colors uh, that gives me that kind of look uh, this is uh, the light uh, color and uh, I will reach for a darker color afterwards. I haven't uh, done an art journal for ages. Uh, I think I just wasn't inspired. But uh, my mojo is back. Uh, so uh, I spent quite a lot of time and had a lot of fun with this page. And this is the other color that I reached for. Honestly, it doesn't matter. Uh, I wouldn't go and buy new paints. Uh, just use whatever you have um, and there are other alternatives for every brand uh, I'm just I just wanted to use some shiny uh, paint and ha have a shiny look this time so I reached for the metallics and this is the darkest uh, color that I will have on this page after this I will take uh, my gold paint again from Prima uh, metallic and uh, I will just put a little bit uh, on the side with my uh, spatula and I took my uh, sponge roller uh, as you see on my table because I'm going to use this roller to apply this paint uh, because then it will have another look it will uh, stick to some places uh, it won't stick to others and uh, this is the kind of look that I want. I don't want to cover it all with uh, gold, but have some organic, uh, nice uh, uh, sprayed look on the page. It will also look uh, well because I have the texture from the tissue paper. So it sticks to some places better and the others not. So um, it creates an interesting texture at the back. If I feel it's too much, I just dab it uh, back with my uh, baby wipe. I'm going to spray on this paint a little bit to do some splashes with gold as well. It's always nice to have uh, some splashes here and there. And afterwards, uh, I'm going for something. This is a set that uh, I received as a gift from one of my crafty friends in Sweden. Uh, thanks to her so much. Uh, I'm not sure if you could find it because it's uh, probably a local store, but 
uh, I love them so I'm going to use them uh, I will use it with uh, Prima uh, paste actually metallic pastes the color I'm using is uh, mystic turquoise uh, and I love this color uh, I don't have much left but uh, I will use it anyway uh, products are uh, for us to use and I think it creates a very nice uh, contrast over the color at the back because uh, the color at the back is much lighter but it's the same tones so darker tones over the lighter tones uh, of the same family uh, created an amazing look I, I really love it I am also quite amazed with how long this wax uh, stayed as it is uh, with the uh, consistency that it has nothing happened to it uh, all the waxes that I bought before uh, really dried on me uh, and I was really angry actually because you spend a lot of money and if it dries in a few months I think it's too early um, so I if I were to buy any waxes from now on I will definitely reach out for these and uh, I, I wish I could transfer uh, you the smell as well the fragrance it has it's very nice uh, and uh, I'm also applying it with my paint here and there just to have the same uh, tones uh, all around the page and have uh, some interest uh, with different colors so I'm just using my finger uh, to put it here and there I'll leave it aside uh, while it's drying I'm going to stamp my uh, image I'm using this from Caravel studio I love this uh, angel girl so uh, I will just use my archival uh, ink uh, to stamp it on a piece of uh, cardstock I'm going to use the same uh, tones, uh, the same paints that I used at the background to color the girl's uh, dress, the feathers. Uh, because these paints are already transparent, it doesn't cover uh, all the beautiful details of the stamp. And I'm going with uh, a couple of tones. After I paint this, uh, I'm going to also uh, use Faber-Castell markers to give some uh, shadows to make it look more realistic. I'm going to make the skirt a little bit darker uh, to have some shading it, it will look more interesting to have these tonal differences I'm going to leave this coloring uh, uh, part uh, inside the video this time because you guys always want to see it but if you're not interested uh, you can always skip forward I will uh, use these uh, alcohol markers from Arteza to color the face and the skin of the girl I will use just two tones because it's uh, very small anyway so I think that will be enough I will just take uh, another darker shade of this skin tone and uh, use it all around her face and skin to make some shading and I take the uh, lighter one again to blend in I'm going to use the same uh, gold that I used before to color her hair I want her to have uh, gold hair and you will see afterwards I'm going to give uh, even more shine uh, using glitters uh, I'm just diluting the paint a little bit uh, not to cover all the lines of the hair to make it more transparent and after this I took this uh, Arteza glitter uh, it is holographic uh, so it, uh, it shines uh, while you walk through it it's very nice I put some uh, matte medium on the hair where I want to put the glitter I'm not going to cover it all I will just uh, put a shine here and there uh, so I'm just taking dabbing my uh, brush into the matte medium a little bit and then the glitter uh, to have a little bit shine on the hair uh, it will look really nice then I have uh, this again holographic uh, glitter uh, in turquoise as well uh, it's never enough uh, when you start with uh, glitters uh, I took these uh, wings uh, angel wings uh, from uh, a set that Tim Holtz did I think uh, I don't have the packaging uh, it was gifted to me again uh, 
by a crafty friend. Uh, again, thanks so much. We share a lot of uh, crafty stuff with my friends, uh, which is really nice. I'm, I'm sure you're doing as well. And uh, I love this set, uh, but I haven't used them before. Uh, it's like chipboards, uh, but it's not. I don't know the material, but it's thin, and so I can put it on my journal. So I'm going to use uh, these uh, butterfly wings and these uh, angel wings. I colored it with the same dark color, uh, dark turquoise, that I used on my page. And uh, after coloring it, uh, I just uh, again put some matte medium here and there. And I'm going to use this uh, turquoise glitter uh, to have some shine on the wings as well. I'm going to do the same with the other wing too, but I'm not going to show it because it's the same uh, process, just to uh, give you some time from it. And I'm going to do it with the little butterfly wings too, uh, just in the middle. And in the meantime, this girl uh, dried, so I can now uh, play with it and give a little bit more shading. I'm using an ink uh, marker uh, and uh, it's like Faber-Castell, uh, you know, the uh, brush markers, uh, so it does the same thing. Uh, you can just smudge it uh, with your finger. And I'm going to cut out these uh, little white spaces uh, that stays uh, so that uh, doesn't look weird. And I'm going to uh, go around all the edges of this girl with a black marker uh, to get rid of all these white edges and uh, she will look much better. And afterwards I will turn back to my wings. Uh, I will use uh, a bit of this uh, wax that I used before so to go over the wings as well to have the same uh, color properties in all my uh, elements. And uh, finally I have this uh, crown. I decided to put it on my girl and I colored again. It's from the same uh, group that I took the wings and the butterflies. And uh, I'm doing the same things, uh, same colors, uh, same uh, glitter. And after all that, everything needed to dry, especially the wax on the page. So I left it overnight. I didn't do any sticking. Now it's time to stick uh, all the elements. I'm going to use matte medium. Also a double-sided tape uh, because this was not enough. Uh, it's a bit um, it's thin uh, to go on a page, but it's a little bit thick uh, to be able to uh, stick after all this uh, paint and wax on the page. So I'm using double-sided tape as well to make it stronger. And uh, I just waited a little bit too with a heavy uh, thing uh, on the uh, notebook so that everything sticks very well. I'm going to put my girl in the middle, again uh, stick it well, and the wing uh, on the other side as if she has angel wings. And then I will put the crown on top of her head as well. I'm going to put uh, this butterfly, uh, stick it on the corner of the page just to give a little bit more movement and uh, something else. After this, uh, everything dries. Uh, I'm going to do the shading, shading with my Faber-Castell markers. It's important because uh, otherwise the girl will look like it's stuck on the page. But I want all this uh, shading all around her like a shadow. So it looks more realistic. I started with this uh, turquoise color. But it wasn't dark enough, uh, so you will see that I will use another color uh, to make it uh, darker and it will look really nice then. But uh, it was good to use this color before, so there is a transition between the dark and the lighter. Uh, these uh, little details uh, make all the difference uh, in my opinion, so I wouldn't recommend to miss these. Uh, I know it's not the most enjoyable part of uh, art journaling. If you ask me, the most enjoyable part is just uh, doing the background with all the colors. But the result looks uh, very nice afterwards. 
And now I'm going to uh, do another thing. This is uh, gold leaves. Uh, I don't know, maybe you know, it's very thin uh, material uh, and uh, when you stick it with a matte medium uh, it gives a very nice gold shine. There is silver, copper, uh, different colors of this thing. Uh, some artists uh, use them on paintings. I mean, it's, it has multiple usage. And I had a little bit and uh, I'm going to just uh, put some matte medium. Uh, starting from her skirt as if you know some gold uh, is dripping out of her skirt that's my imagination and um, also because I don't want her to look like she's floating now we uh, prevented uh, her floating in the air she's floating in gold uh, which is much better and uh, I'm going to just dip my uh, end of the brush into this gold and uh, make a gold dot into these leaves not all of them some of them to have some unity with the gold uh, you know uh, then it looks uh, much more better when there is balance and also I put some do uh, gold dots uh, on the angel wings and uh, coming to the border I took a uh, a dark turquoise uh, gelato from my stash and I'm going to give a nice border uh, moving it with my finger this will draw the eye uh, inside uh, and give a definition at the edges this time I don't want a long sentiment because I really love the page how it looks I don't want to spoil it with any stickers or stamps so I'm going to write it by myself with a brush, uh, just uh, a little angel uh, on this wing and leave it there. I don't have the best handwriting so I never attempt to write it myself when I do a journal. But I, I thought I could write uh, five letters, one word, so I don't think it looks bad. I think I'm really happy with the result. Uh, I love how it looks, the colors the gold details, all the shine. I will try to catch uh, all these details uh, with the light uh, on camera. Uh, the whole page is actually shining but uh, there are some parts that make a difference like glitters and the gold leaves. Uh, you can see all the glitters on the wing and uh, there is gold on the hair as well and the crown. So if somebody takes uh, this page in hand, I think uh, it looks quite impressive. Um, I really enjoyed uh, my time with it and uh, got back to art journaling with this page. Uh, I hope you enjoyed too uh, and uh, hope to see you in another video. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, like or comment if you like my videos. And uh, here are the uh, pictures of the finished page. See you next time. Bye.